Hello there. Welcome to the Apollo Solar Water Heating Installation Online Training. Today, we'll be looking at the general requirements to installing an Apollo Solar Geyser. The first part we are going to be talking about is installer competency. The installer must be an accredited installer, qualified in plumbing and knowledgeable with SANS 1010 SANS 10254, SANS 198 and other relevant codes regarding solar water heating. Responsibility for safe and proper installation of a system rests with the installer. High pressure solar water heating systems should always be fitted by or overseen by a PIRB registered plumber that also has CETA certificate for solar water heating systems. The second important part is the actual site requirement. The first requirement on site that needs to be determined is the system size selection. The first calculation that needs to be made is the number of litres of hot water used daily. This will vary drastically from family to family, but it is recommended that 50 litres of hot water be allocated per person per day. The following is a guide to the recommended hot water storage required depending on the number of household members. For a household with one to two people, we recommend 100 litres minimum. For a household with two to three people, we recommend 150 litres minimum. For a household with three to four people, we recommend 200 litres minimum. For a household with four to five people, we recommend 300 litres minimum. The next thing to consider is system orientation. The solar collector should not be positioned where there is likely to be shade between the hours of 9 o'clock in the morning and 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Keep in mind shadows are longer in winter than in summer, so a location that is free of shadows in summer may have some shadow in winter. Select a north facing roof for optimal sun utilization. Deviation of plus minus 45 degrees east or west of true north is satisfactory. Anything out of this range will progressively and greatly reduce efficiency. Where the roof pitch is greater than 30 degrees, the installation will require additional support. Please refer to special recommendations following. Special recommendation. A special bracket for pitch tiled roof was designed to make the solar geyser installation easier and is available from Apollo Solar Technology. The bracket is in an S shape. The one side has a bigger hook than the other side. The side with the bigger hook slides under the tiles and hooks over the brand ring as close to the main rafters as possible. One bracket on each end of the geyser. The smaller hook will then lie face up on the tile below and you hook the bottom horizontal brace of the solar geyser into it. The third section to consider is the roof structure. Before installation, an assessment of the roof structure that will support the solar collectors needs to be done. Different kinds of roof structures can carry different loads. Installing an integrated solar system onto an existing roof where the design parameters of the roof structure is unknown is one of the biggest concerns to be taken into consideration. Collector and support shall be installed in such a manner that after raining, water flowing off the surface of the collector does not cause water collection on certain parts of the roof. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time.